Are you tired of having your files spread across different storage devices, wishing you could access them all from one place? Then this is the video for you. I'll show you how to turn your Windows 10 or 11 computer into a NAS server. It's like creating your own powerful file sharing hub at home. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. We'll break it down into easy steps. So let's get started. For this setup, you'll require one or more external hard drives. So connect your hard drives to your computer and follow the steps. We'll create a storage pool combining multiple hard drives. A storage pool will allow you to store lots of data. To show you, I am going to combine these three external drives. You can start with minimum of two external drives to create a storage pool. Later, you can add more drives as needed based on your storage requirements and budget. First of all, to create a storage pool, we have to format each drive with the same allocation unit size or cluster size. This ensures efficient space management within the storage pool. To do so, open disk management. Right click on each drive, select format. In the allocation unit size drop down, select 4096. Click OK. Also, you have to delete the existing volumes on the drive before creating the storage pool. After that, remember to restart your PC. Now let's create the storage pool. Open settings. Select System, Storage, click Advanced Storage Settings, then Storage Spaces, click on Add to create a new storage pool. Enter a name for the storage pool. Choose Connected Devices for the pool. Click Create and set the desired pool size. There are different types of pool resiliency you can choose each with its own requirements and level of data protection. Here are the details of different resiliency types. I am going to choose simple as it has the highest efficiency. It needs at least two drives. However, it offers no data redundancy. It means if one drive fails, you'll lose your data. You can choose the pool resiliency depending on your specific needs. Click create. Type a volume label. Set a drive letter. Choose the file system. Click Format. Now open File Manager. You should see the new storage pool with the label and drive letter that you chose. It's ready for storing data and being shared on the network. The next step is to set a static IP address to the computer. A static IP ensures your Windows NAS always has the same IP address so other devices can find it easily even if your router restarts. Open command prompt. Type ipconfig and press enter. Copy and paste your IP version 4 address. Next, we need to enable file sharing on your computer. In the file manager, select network in the sidebar. If network discovery and file sharing are turned off, you will get this pop-up message. Just click on it. Then select no, make the network private. Windows is now configured to be discoverable on the LAN network. Now let's share the storage pool we created. Right click the storage pool. Choose properties. Go to the Sharing tab. Click Advanced Sharing. Check the Share this folder box. Enter a share name to be displayed to others. Then click on Permissions. Configure the permission as desired. Now the drive will be available for everyone to access and create files and folders. 
And that's it. Your NA server is now up and running. You can access it from other devices on your network. To check if it's working, open file manager on another computer. Go to the network section. Your windows NAS device should automatically appear here. Just click on it. Then enter your Microsoft account's username and password as the login credentials. Now you can access the files from your NAS. If the NAS device doesn't automatically appear in the network section, you can also access it by entering the NAS server's IP in the address bar. You can also access your NAS server from mobile devices. For this, ensure your mobile device is connected to the same network and uses a file manager app that supports network file access. For this, I am using the CX file manager app. You can install it from Play Store. On this app, go to the network section and access files right from your phone or tablet. And that's how you set up a NAS server using the built-in features of Windows 10 or 11. Now you can easily access and manage your files from anywhere in your home. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching.